As I'm sketching from this photo blocking in the actual shape, you can see I've broken down his hat and his face. So his face, when I look at it, feels more like a square and that becomes the initial place that I'm gonna start. Also, I'm conscious and just now thinking about just placement. The picture is pretty small, but I'm playing around with my spacing from how far my eyes from my nose to my mouth and I'll start to build up the sketch that way. It is going to be important to have a basic understanding of the muscles that are happening within the face because if you don't know what's happening through there or where to maybe place the cheek or where maybe to place the end of the mouth or even just playing with any sort of relationship, that's gonna be a challenge for you. And I think would highly recommend you to make sure that you're just learning how to draw the face and some of the other videos that I've done, and then you can come in. I'm just using a red color erase pencil. You can see I'll use the side of it, the front of it, to almost self sharpen it. And the paper that I'm using is a little bit of a toothy paper, which gives it just a nice little, almost like cross hatching look. And as I'm working on this guy, just again, looking at the overall face shape, it's more of a square shape. And now I can start blocking in my features from my eyes, my nose, my ears. I'll usually wrap the hair around the head. That'll be the last thing that I end up doing. But you also got to be very aware of your center line and your three quarter line. And that's the line that determines where the center of your face is in between the eyes. And I, that way I know that's the direction that I'm going through. And now I can just slowly start to build up all my details and most importantly just always remembering just part of my philosophy is that details are going to come last you want to make sure that you're getting some form of gesture and that gesture happens within the face and why we're using photo reference is just to help with not only understand and find a character that maybe you've never seen or drawn before it's also just helping you because the more you do this the better you're always going to get and also it's just helping me find areas of shading understanding maybe a little bit about how the muscles work and i like how his lower lip just kind of comes out just a little bit more and that's the sort of transition that i'll go through so again put all this into practice try to make it a daily habit as much as possible